know I just mentioned about poor vegetarians getting a little rice offered to them. I love rice, but I think you have to make it exciting. And so what I'm going to do is use a rice mix, right? I found these at Malabar Farms Gourmet Shop. They're great. It's wild rice. It's white rice. This one has wild rice and red rice in it. Um, and it's nice toothsome rice. You get a nice flavor, beautiful color, great on the palate, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these two. You want to make sure you've read the label because you don't want your rice cooking at different speeds, right? I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup of the wild rice mix and about a quarter of a cup of the red rice mix. Half a cup of rice, one cup of water, right? Two to one, okay? And into that, I'm just going to put some butter, a nice size lump of butter. Let me open this up. Like so. I'd say that's about an ounce. I'm going to put in a stock cube, like so. A pinch of salt. I'm going to put this on a medium heat so that it can cook gently. You don't want to boil it hard, you want it to simmer, okay? So we're popping that on here to cook quite gently. Again, when you're cooking rice and if you're cooking it properly, the, the water should just boil right down and put the lid on the pot again so it stays moist and the water doesn't boil out too quickly. All right, so while that's cooking, what I'm going to do is show you how to make this really delicious bhaji that my friend Robert Young made a couple of weeks ago at a dinner party. So what I'm going to do is get my pan happening. And I'm going to put some olive oil in there, like so. Get your pan really nice and hot, and we're going to chunky some scotch bonnet pepper. I've got a whole scotch bonnet that we've chopped up. Remember to keep your fingers out of the way when you're chopping up scotch bonnet, right? Or any hot pepper, chili, or... And I'm just going to put about a teaspoon, teaspoon of hot pepper in there. I'm going to cook that out and then take it out of the pan so I flavor the oil really nicely. So give your pepper a good stir in the oil. Let me get a little bowl. So I'm just going to get this out of the way here. So I've just got some regular onions, which I've sliced up. Right, so while that's happening, I've got a really nice piece of ginger root here. I'm going to cut about an inch of it, peeled fresh ginger, and I'm going to grate it. So I've just got my little grater here. Let's get that over. So let me show you the bhaji. We've just washed off all the leaves and uh, picked off the big stems, but I'm leaving the small stems on because they look really pretty and kind of curly wheely in the bowl, right? I'm just going to literally pack the bhaji into there. Sprinkle a little salt on top of it. Okay. And I'm going to cover it with a plate just to let it cook right down like so. I think the rice is just about ready. Let's take a look. It has all the liquid has boiled away and it's left that lovely butter that we put in. It smells really, really nice. And you've got all these beautiful colors and different textures of rice in there. So it's going to be really delicious. All right. I'm going to leave the lid on there. Now let's check the bhaji. There you go. Right, what I'm going to do is sort of toss it up. You can see it, it has indeed boiled down, <laughs> as is in the nature of bhaji. My onions have caramelized nicely. So what I want to do is sort of toss it a little bit and separate the leaves out. So you've got nice lime green stems. And with my ginger, I've got a whole sort of handful of ginger. I'm going to squeeze, and then I'm going to sprinkle just a tiny bit. Toss again. And then, there we go, it's ready.
turn everything off. Because we put the butter in, the rice is really moist and lovely. It hasn't dried out. It's quite, and yet, but the greens are rice. And here's the bhaji. Garnish it. I'm just going to sprinkle a tiny little bit of some scotch bonnet on top. And there you have it. Another really delicious, very simple, quick meal for the vegetarian. Mm -hmm.